Hi everyone, hope you all are having a great day. So a couple months ago, I uploaded this video showcasing an API client called Bruno. Bruno is a solid choice if you are looking for something lightweight. But if you want something full featured, you can check out this tool called API Dog, which I believe is the best Postman alternative out there. And in many ways, it's even superior than Postman. Now, this video is sponsored by API Dog. But all the opinions I'll be sharing are my own. I genuinely love the tool and it has become my go-to API testing tool out there. And I'm pretty sure after watching the video, you'll feel the same. All right, let's get to it. So I have written a couple of APIs here that we'll be testing throughout the video. You don't need to understand the code, but basically this API is responsible for inserting new users. It takes name, email, birth date, and bio and saves it in a Postgres database. And we have another API here that basically just fetches all the users from the database. So to test it out, let's first use Postman. Here in the collection, let's create a new request. Oh, hi, Buku. All right, as I was saying, let's create a post request to test the user creation API. And the app is running on port 3001. It's the HTTP slash localhost 3001 slash users. And in the body, draw JSON. Let me zoom in for you. And here you need to pass the uh, JSON data, right? So for our case, we need a name, email, birth date, and bio. We have name. All right, so once you have all the data, press send. You can now see the request was successful. Check the database. Now here you can see the data was uh, inserted, right? So. Now let's test with API Dog. To get started, visit their website using the link in the description so they know I sent you. Here you will find download option for Mac, Windows, Linux, or all other operating systems, or you can also use their uh, web app. Now, once you download the app, your home should kind of look like this where you can create new projects. I already have one called Benchmarks. Here, let's create a new endpoint. Now, same as Postman, you can pass your API URL here. Paste it here. Let's give it a name. Create user. This will be a post request. Now, if you scroll down, you will see a bunch of options. The one we are looking for is body. We need JSON. Now, here you can define your data schema. So, I already created a schema for our uh, user model. So, I'm just going to refer it here. Reference schema, user, okay. And now you can see the schema is added and this will let us do some really cool stuff uh, which we'll see pretty soon. Now everything else looks fine, so let's save this. We have our new schema, so let's run this. Now here in this body, you can write your example data. But remember in Postman, we had to write all this manually by yourself. In API doc, you have this button called generate automatically. Click on this and you can see an example data is auto generated based on your schema. Like we have a proper name here, a proper email, birth date and bio. If you don't like this data, you can click again and it will generate a new data every time. So pretty cool. Uh, now let's send it. And same as before, you get your uh, success response. If you see the database. We get our new data pretty cool right really awesome feature saves a lot of time uh, for creating like mock data now let's try out the get api which is supposed to return uh, all the users right so let's create a new endpoint and here you can pass the whole route like we did in create user but a better way would be to create a environment variable so go to environments and in the default server We'll just paste the 
server address save now here we can just say slash users we'll give it a name get users and now if you scroll down to get the same benefits or automations as the create user this time in the response we will set our data schema so this api will return an array right so instead of object it should be an array and it will be an array of users so let's reference user looks good save now if you run this here you can see uh, all the response but the cool part is if you see this validate response option here if you turn on this checkbox it actually matches your uh, response with the schema we defined so in this case everything was fine so it was a success but let's try to create a failed response so in our database let's say uh, for this user the bio is null save changes go to api dog run it again you can see this time the api dog is giving us an error saying bio should not be null right and it can say that because if you remember in the schema we defined that bio is required and it's supposed to be a string and that's how you can use api dog to validate your apis in like really short time without writing a bunch of test scripts now there is just one last thing i want to show you i'm pretty sure a lot of you uh, face the same issue imagine you have like two members in your team one is working on the back end side and another is working on the front end right a lot of time you probably work on the back end and then when the api is ready uh, the front end guy or the react guy can uh, work on it right to add the uh, client side features but sometimes when apis are not ready yet uh, the front end guy is kind of stuck right so that's why a lot of these api tools or uh, testing tools have this mock server features like in postman you can go to mock servers here you can create a mock server so let's say there is an api called slash users which is not uh, live yet and in the response body you can pass an example data so let's say it next uh, you can give it a name get all users create mock server and copy the url go to browser slash users and here you will get a mock data uh, that the front end guy can work on but let me show you how easy it is to achieve this uh, with api dog we have this api right get all users go to endpoints and here you will see mock option you have options for local or cloud click on cloud and you will see the mock url copy this same paste with browser you can see the response and all the dummy data has been generated by api dog based on your schema so love this feature and all of this is only tip of the iceberg they offer so many other great features it's definitely the ide for api testing so make sure to check it out using the link in the description and yeah hope you guys like the video and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.